Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching here Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for A level for the maths. And today we have 1.2 for multiplying complex numbers for the rules and examples videos. And we'll get started with general multiplication, but before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never send any future videos. And now we'll get started with general multiplication. So from the last few videos, we can see that i equals the square root of negative 1. That means that, uh, that means i squared equals negative 1, because we're just basically squaring both sides, right? So essentially this means that i times i equals minus 1. And this effect will be important when we're trying to expand two brackets with uh, containing i via uh, like using the FOIL method, which is, which is basically uh, using the first, outers, inners, and last method to expand brackets. And here we have some examples for the multiplication with i. So simplify 2 plus 3i minus 3 times uh, 3 minus 2i. So let me just zoom in. So the first term will be 2 times 3, right? So it will be 6. And the second term will be 2 times minus 2i, which is minus 4i. And the third term will be uh, 3i times by 3, which is 9i. And the fourth term will be a bit different. It will be 3i times by minus 2i, right? So it will be 3 times, 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. Then it's also i times i, right? But we know that i times i is equal to minus 1. So this right here is minus 1. That means it will be minus 6 times minus 1, which just becomes 6. Quite bizarre, right? So we have a 6 in the front and 6 at the back. That means we just add the 6 up to get 12. So it will be 12, and 9 minus, 9i nine minus 4i is 5, so it will be 12 plus 5i, like so. And the second example, simplify 5 minus 3i times 5 minus 3i. So it be 5 minus 3i times 5 minus 3i. So the first term is just 5 times 5, 25. And then the second term and the third term are basically the same of minus 3 times 5. And minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. But because we have two of those, like this and this, therefore it will be minus 30i. And the last term will be minus 3i times minus 3i. And let's just skip the step of writing i times i. Let's just think about it. So minus 3 times minus 3 is 9, right? But i times i is minus 1. That means you get the you get the minus to the to the nine to get negative nine, because it's basically nine times minus one, so it'll be minus nine. So therefore, it'll be twenty five minus thirty i minus nine, which gets us the real part will be twenty five. The real part will be twenty five minus nine, which is basically sixteen minus thirty i like so. And the last question: simplify three r uh, uh, three i to the power of 5. So we have a bit more complicated here. So it will be 3 to the power of 5 times i to the power of 5. So 3 to the power of 5 is basically just 3 times by itself 5 times to so get 2, 4, 3. 2, 4, 3 times by this. It's i to the power of 5. So let's just write i 5 times first. So it will be i times i times i times i times i. So we know that this equals negative 1, so it'll be negative 1. But we know that this is also equal to negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 cancels out. So this business, this business becomes 1. And we're left with 1i at the back. Therefore, we just need to use that i to get 2, 4, 3i, like so. And this idea of just the powers of i leads nicely to the next part, which is the powers of i. So here we have a table to show the powers of i and their relationship. So on the right we have uh, like a, a table with four columns. So on the, the column on the right is basically a multiple of four. And you can see the different things. So the first one will be i to the power of zero to equal to one because anything to the power of zero equals one. And then we have i to the power of one equals i. i to the power of two equals minus, minus one. i to the three equals minus i. And i to the four equals one and i to the 5 equals i, and you can see that it's repeating, it's a whole cycle. And therefore we can just deduce a relationship between 
the whole uh, the, the whole powers. So the pattern is that every fourth power of i repeats itself. Hence, i to the power of n equals i to the power of n plus or minus 4, where n is bigger than 4. Right? So in short, we basically just divide the power by the power or like the n power, the power by 4, and the remainder is the simplest power possible. So that's a nice notation using modular arithmetic, where we can just use mod notation to find the remainder. So we have, let's say we have i to the power of 2 over 2. So intuitively, we know that 200 is divisible, is divisible, by, divisible by 4. That means the remainder is 2, right? So assume that we don't know that, right? We can write, uh, if we were to find like, the uh, remainder for 202 divided by 4, we can write it as 202 or 202 mod 4, right? And we know that basically it's a whole cycle of 4, like 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 202. We basically cycle 4 and 4 and 4, right? To find, to, uh, to like put in the biggest number of 4 that we can. In this case, we can put 200 because it's a multiple of 4. And we, we remain, um, and the remainder is 2. So therefore, 202 mod 4 will be equal to 2 mod 4. And there are functions on your calculator that can calculate um, the modulus, uh, sorry, the remainder for you. So you can just check out some videos on the internet for it. So basically 2. So basically 2 is the simplest uh, remainder or like the remainder when 202 is divided by 4. That means i to the power of 202, i to the power of 202, is the same as i to the power of 2. Therefore, you're equal to minus 1. And that's a nice example. And here, lastly, we have some examples for the powers of i. So number 1, i to the power of uh, i cubed. So we know that i squared equals negative 1, just negative 1. So it'd be negative 1 times by i to get negative i, right? Like so. So number 2, we have i to the power of 4. And we know that i to the power of 4 is basically i to the power of 3 times by i. And we know that i to the power of 3 equals the negative i times by i. And we know that i times i is negative 1. So it'll be negative 1 times by negative 1, which gets us i, like so. And lastly, we have 5i five five I to the power of 6. So we have to do 5 to the power of 6 first, which is uh, 15,625. So 1, 5, 6, 2, 5 times i to the power of 6. So let's just divide i to the power, let's just divide 6 by 4 to find the, close, the simplest remainder. So i to the power of 6, or like 6 divided by 4, the remainder would be 2, right? Because 6 can only divide 4 once. So it will it'll, so it'll be i squared. And we know that i squared equals negative, right? Therefore, it will be minus 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. And that's the answer. And we can verify this by just looking at the table before. So i to the power 6 must be equal to i to the power 2, which is equal to minus 1. And let's just confirm it. So i to the power 6 equals i to the power 2 equals negative 1. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this short video for the rules and examples video for 1.2 for multiplying complex numbers. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification button so on any future videos. And if you have any feedbacks or any comments or any constructive feedbacks about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can type it out on your browser at www.emisseasy.com And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be questions for 1.2 for multiplying complex numbers which will be interesting and fun. But until then, stay safe and happy learning. Thank you.